The topic for this video is floating point representation. The standards for representing floating point numbers is 32 bits and 64 bits which have been developed by IEEE. Now based on the total number of bits, the floating point numbers are either single precision or double precision. Single precision or double precision. Single precision is for 32 bits whereas double precision is for 64 bits. Now there is a certain format for both these precisions that we'll see now. For single precision the format for a number is like 0, 22, 30, 31. This is the format for single precision where 23 bits are for mantissa, m is for mantissa part here, 8 bit signed exponent that is e dash, what is e dash we will see later and s is the sign bit that is 1 for negative and 0 for positive numbers as you all know. Similarly, if you want to draw the format for double precision, it will be 64 bit format like this is 32 bit format. Okay, it will start from 0 until 51 it will go. Okay, in this case 52 bit mantissa is there. 11 bit exponent and again a single bit for sign bit okay now in this case instead of the signed exponent e see if you noticed we are representing the exponent part with e dash instead of a normal e so what is e dash here e dash is e plus a term called bias first of all an exponent can be signed so in spite of storing the exponent with a sign we are storing the exponent field as e dash where e dash stands for e plus bias where bias is a number that is added both in single and double precision for single precision the bias added is 127 whereas for double precision the bias added is 1023 now how this is added and how it results in e dash which is known as the modified exponent we'll see when we solve a numerical so basically this is single precision format this is double precision format this is 32 bit this is 64 bit everything is same except e dash and let's represent both single and double precision using an example Let's take an example to represent a decimal number, let's say 1460.125 into both single and double precision formats. For that, you first of all need to convert this number to binary number, binary format. So when you solve this, you will get 1460.125 as 10110110100 you can all please convert this into binary format and check your answers you'll get this now after you convert the decimal number into a binary one you need to normalize this as you can all see this is not normalized you need to normalize it and after normalization it will result into 1.0111011111 1 into 2 to the power 10. So this is your normalized result. Now let's begin with the process. For single precision what we are going to do is, first of all because this number is positive therefore s will be 0. Okay, The exponent part that is e. We're not talking about e dash but here we're 
only talking about E which is 10. Then we're talking about mantissa. Mantissa is the part after decimal. That is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Now we need to calculate the modified exponent that is e dash which I told you was e plus bias e in this case is 10 and bias for single position is 127 therefore it will be 10 plus 127 resulting in 137. Now what you have to do is you need to convert this into again binary format. After converting 137 into binary you will get 1 triple zero 1 double zero 1. Now you have all the values, you just have to represent into a single precision format. You can see here, S is for the assignment which is 0. Then for single precision, there are 8 bits for the exponent part, modified exponent part. And as you can see, our exponent part, modified exponent part is 8 bit long. So you can copy that here. And as you can see here, this is 23 bit mantissa. But because our mantissa is not that long, what you will do is you can write the mantissa here and giving dots with a zero at the end. This is your mantissa part. So, this is how you represent your number into a single position. Now if you want to do the same in double position, S is the same, E is 10 but E dash in this case will be 10 plus 1023 which will be 1033. Again you need to convert 1033 into binary that will result in 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, double, 0, 1. So, again representing this into this format, you, what you will get is, again, S is same 0. Now, because R mantissa is this, but here the mantissa part is 53 bit long. Again, you can copy the entire mantissa here and you can end it with a 0. And you can also copy your modified exponent part here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, double, 0, 1. So this is your double precision format for the same number. To sum up, what you need to do is, you just need to see whether the number is negative or positive to get the value of S. Then, mantissa is same for both the cases. You just have to find the modified exponent in both the cases where you need to add 1 to 7 in single precision and 1023 into double precision just remember you need to convert everything into binary format and then solve the question thank you